All right, guys, let's be straight. Factoring is a real drag. I get it. Like, I'm a math teacher. I do this stuff all day long. Factoring can be a real drag because it's so much guess and check. That's why you want to have any shortcuts or any strategies you can that will make it be more easy. Some things you can look for are what we're going to talk about today, special cases. If you see trinomials that look like these first two guys, they're what we call perfect square trinomials because their factored form looks like a binomial squared. That guy's a plus b squared and this guy's a minus b squared. Notice the only difference in the trinomial is that plus or minus sign there. Same thing here, the only difference is the plus or minus sign. Again, those are called perfect square trinomials. So if you're given something like this and asked to factor it, or if you see the words perfect square trinomial, think about this definition right here. This right here, this third one, is called difference of perfect squares. Difference meaning it's a subtraction problem. The way you factor it looks like this. One plus sign and one minus sign. It doesn't matter which order you put them in as long as one's positive and one's negative. The cool thing is, if you were to FOIL this guy out, your positive AB and negative AB terms would be eliminated because they're additive inverses, and your result is just A squared take away B squared. So you don't have to memorize these. These are just tricks. But if you do memorize them, they might help you with some of your factoring problems. I know factoring is hard, but I promise you these kinds of tricks or formulas will help you when you get into your homework.